Hi, this is Phyllis Southern Frugal.com, and we are at a little reunion for Mr. Bucky and his high school friends. And this is John. John. And this is BJ. BJ. And BJ, tell me about you now. You are John's sometimes girlfriend. No, I'm his girlfriend. No, it's I'm his older dumb girl. All the time. He better live. be. I, I don't you. live here. I live in Camden. Uh huh. I love to be over there playing golf and oh. messing around with my little horse that I own with a bunch of other people. So I'm a Camden girl. Oh, and, just, and they call you BJ. Why? Because Billy Joe takes too long to say in Southern. Okay. All right. <laughs> and this is John, who went to school with Bucky. We went to school from about the fourth grade all the way up to Carolina. We went in the Army together. Uh -huh. I said we went to Carolina, and then once we graduated from Carolina, we disappeared. Yeah, and, and now how many it. years has it been? They finished in 60. I finished in 61. I flunked a couple of horses. Uh, and I haven't seen Bucky and... So I never called him Bucky. It was always Ernie to me. Yeah, Ernie. Yeah. But I haven't seen him probably in about 15 years we were down in Orangeburg or somewhere yeah. for a uh, South Carolina Association uh -huh. uh, insurance area the private yeah. schools yeah. Uh -huh. and he was there and yeah. I think he was working with the private schools back yeah he time. was yeah. that was the first time I'd run across him and I don't know isn't when. that something and that's the last time I talked to him so is this your this is my second home your here second that actually is going to end up being my first home I'm, I've yeah. been selling the wine from you for about the last five or six years. I just haven't yeah. got around to doing it yet. Yeah. But I, I don't ever spend time there anymore. It's always up. So you're right on the lake here. Oh yeah. This yeah. is very nice. Love it up there. Just laid back and yeah. it's not as far as you think it is. Oh it's what, far. What, what, oh it's <laughs> far. Believe me. But, but it's what, far. But, but once you start doing and you know where you're going it's not far. Yeah. You're 15. Yeah. Well you're about 20 minutes from Camden. Excuse me. 20 minutes from Chapin. You're about uh, 12 or 15 minutes from Newberry. Uh -huh. uh, from my house in Columbia, you ain't 35 minutes away, just about. Yeah. It's as far as from my house to Camden it is up here. Yeah. So, you know, and I've been driving back and forth up here for 25 years. So yeah. it's just, I'm just kind of immune to your, it. Your car here. probably just knows the way. Oh, it does. Yeah. Put it on automatic pilot, keep on. Yeah. Uh, All you right. got enough for me on All right. All you right. So we're going we to see some other people here. All right. Uh, Okay, y'all, this is Jimmy, and he has got a good snake story. All right, Mr. Jimmy, go right ahead. I'm glad I got you all here together because I want you all to hear this. I guess it's been about 20 to 25 years ago now. But we moved to the country in Lexington County in South Carolina, and uh, Sylvia got her a new puppy, and that dog we thought was supposed to be a a German Shepherd, but it turned out to be something totally different from a German Shepherd. But anyway, that dog got up to 110, 115 pounds. And one day we heard this dog barking outside the house. And I turned to Sylvia, I says, what's wrong with Pumpkin? Pumpkin was the dog's name. She says, I don't know. We better check and see. So we went out there and Pumpkin loved to try to get catch snakes. Well, she had a snake out there. It was a rattles, I mean a cottonmouth moccasin that she had, that she had cornered. And I said, well, wait a minute, let me go get a shovel and I'll get rid of that snake. Well, I went to get the shovel and I came back. The dog was right down on it. And uh, the dog grabbed the snake and started stringing it like this. <laughs> and slung the snake and it wrapped around my neck. <laughs> and I told Sylvia, I told you to hold that damn snake. <laughs> that dog. That, that damn dog. <laughs> she said, well, I cut the dog. Weighs 110 pounds, I cut and hold it. <laughs> and my face turned really white. Thing. And thank the Lord, the dog had killed the snake. He had already killed it. not still alive when it wrapped around my neck. And I still have nightmares to this day about that time. You've got post-traumatic stress syndrome to do with the snake. what it is. All right. Great, great story. All right. This is Mr. Bucky and Miss Sylvia. And they got a story. Sylvia's got a big one on Mr. Bucky. All right, Sylvia. Take it away.
Well, oh, we were at Ocean Drive, a big uh, house party full of girls. Now, how old were y'all then? About 17, maybe 18. And uh, so, on the beach together, all with our bathing suits on, and Ernie and Jimmy come driving up, and they would all get out on our beach blankets, and we are having fun in the water and sunbathing. And uh, so Ernie asked me for a date that night, and oh, I was so excited. He was so dark and handsome, and just <laughs> couldn't wait for that night to come. So next thing I know, Jimmy's Ernie's gone, and Jimmy's still there. And Jimmy said, well, Ernie left me here. We're staying way back at... Uh, uh, Merle's Inlet, and I don't have any way to get home. All I got on is my bathing suit. <laughs> and so I said, well, Jimmy, come on back to the house, and I'll get my car, and I'll drive you back to your motel. So Jimmy and I drive all the way to Merle's Inlet and pull up in the motel, and Ernie's pulling out, coming to pick me up for our date. So I have to scurry home back to Ocean Drive, Ernie and I go out to the pavilion and we dance and we have this a is Jimmy, good time. The one that only had a bathing suit. <laughs> yes, no <money>. Well, <laughs> that night we were dancing, Ernie and I, and Ernie's old girlfriend, Janet, shows up. Well, Ernie drops me like a hot potato. <laughs> don't, don't, no explanation, nothing. You know, I don't see him again after Janet shows up. Oh, my goodness. Well, luckily, Jimmy found a way to get back to the pavilion, so he took me home that night, and that's how we ended up together. So y'all ended up married, and you've been married how many years? Fifty-five years. Fifty-five years. <laughs> but the thing about it... That Thank you, Ernie. The thing, <laughs> the thing, All things work out... <laughs> <laughs> the thing that's so crazy is, Ernie asked me for a date when we got back home. After after he after just all left this, you? he apologized. He said, I'm so sorry for what happened. Let's go out when you get back home. So, again, I was so excited. You gave me another chance. Forward, <laughs> looking forward to going out with you and gave you another chance. And then... Now, don't tell me I, I messed you up that time. Yeah, we went, I wasn't used to men because I grew up in a house full of women. My father died when I was four months old and I wasn't used to men. And we went out to that uh, restaurant on Rosewood Drive and you got a steak. Burnside? Yeah, Burnside. Burnside. Mm -hmm. And you were eating that steak. <laughs> I've never seen anybody eat a steak he, he, like he's, that. He still eats like that, man. I mean, man. It, it was like Vikings, you know, throwing the bones <laughs> over their shoulders. I mean, the way he was devouring that steak. The boy and I, was hungry. And I think my mouth must have dropped down to my chest that so day. That, that was it, eh? And so I think you ended up taking me home about 9 o'clock. My mother said, what in the world happened? Why are you home so early? You, in other words, you were the one that said that she, you wanted to go home, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't blame this one on me. <laughs> so, so what happened then? You didn't did Did you go out with her again? I don't remember. No, we, that was the. Oh, you wasn't gonna go out with him again, right? <laughs> we went. We we had two or three dates. Yeah, know, we did. We did. Before we went to the beach, I think. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so okay. All right. And so that's the end of that story. Here, but.